In this one, part three of our working in a newsletter, we're going to start off with working with pictures. So I have it up here on the screen and let's go find the pictures. Insert picture this device. Now this menu here keeps changing a lot every time a new version comes out of Word or they update it a little bit. Uh, so it may be like it might say my computer, it might say local, there's lots of different things it could say here. Stock images, this is new actually. It used to just say uh, my computer and online pictures. In fact, there were two buttons for quite a while. But let's go into this device. Pardon the background noise, it's pouring raining here. Okay, so let's go find it. I put it on my desktop. And there it is, newsletter. And we want the picture called Anderson, this one. So right now it's dropped it in looks like it has maybe top and bottom if I move it yeah I can't move it anywhere else in here it's treating it like it's a letter of the alphabet it's just another little letter in here so I need to do the wrapping next to make this happen then I want square wrapping so I click on my picture I can use this one or a pair or picture format wrap text and we want square make sure you do this part or the next part's not going to work so by doing square wrapping now I can take this picture and move it where I want. I'm going to put it about there, I think. Right there. Now, I'm going to move this picture a bit and I want to drag it out and make it so it fills two columns. To do that, I'm going to grab it from the corner. If I grab it from the sides or the bottom, I'm going to squish it out. They're either going to make them look really heavy or they're going to be, it's going to distort the picture, the proportions. So always grab from the corners. Let's drag that out till it fills two columns. Now, if this happens, let's try this again. I'll put it back. Because I see a lot of these every year. You drag it out and it chops off half of it. If it's doing that, it means you forgot to do the wrapping. You have to do this part here. Once you do that, then the words push over and you can move it around as you need. Okay, let's add a little frame around the edges. So I'm going to hit this drop down here. These are picture styles. While the picture is selected, once I click off it, picture formatting menu is gone. Click on it, picture formatting. Hit the drop down. I want a white border. Simple frame. There. Now it also takes a little space so you may need to do a little resizing after that as well. What we want here, see how this is doing? This is too big. It's pushing in this paragraph so let's move that back a little bit. I only want it to eat up two paragraphs. That looks good. Okay, so here's what I have so far. Does mine look like the picture that I did about a year ago? Let's see. Um, yeah, pretty much. We're going to ignore all these spelling errors because they're not really spelling errors. It's someone's name. Let's turn off the little backwards P thing, the show hide. Good. Okay, so what's next? So footers, sort of a fun way to get a little bit of design on the bottom here. What I want to do here now rather than just having it run down the bottom. So we're going to do something else. Let's go to insert and nope. I always think it's under insert. No, they did. They, it's here still footer because to me, it seems like it should be under layout and it's not or even under design and it's still not. So we have to find under insert a footer, insert footer. Now we have all these templates. You can use one of these. I often do, or you can make your own. In this case, we're just going to choose one called filigree. There it is. If you don't have it, pick something else that looks somewhat decorative. So it's popped it in down here at the bottom. Let's move some words, stuff's down here. I can now type in this area. What I want to do is put in today's date. Now, I wonder if I can just put that in here. So let's go back to insert. Oh, here we go too, date time. And let's put in today's date. I'm going to use that one. In fact, I may even just have it update automatically insert date time okay press tab then 
type agricultural auction company probably want to use capital so I didn't earlier tab and then we're going to use the page number now don't type the page number if I type a one here every page is gonna be page one that's not gonna help so let's go to page numbers current position and I just want a number there insert number so again that was under header and footer page number I did current position and just put a plain number in if you wanted something fancier you could but in fact it looks like I used the one here called page one before let's see if I can find that now I can type the word page I don't mind because that part doesn't need to change I just want the number to change so let's just do that okay now I need this to be a little better aligned I used tabs hopefully you did too I hit tab between each one of them and you can see those with that backward P thing here so for the tabs I want to set my tabs now I want to be able to control where they're at couple ways of doing this one is through the ruler and I come up here and see this little guy in this very corner that right now says that if I click on the ruler it's going to set a left tab I click that thing now it's going to give me a center tab click it again a right tab now that's a nice way of just being able to click and you can just put it in there and drag and move it around that's a decimal tab for like lining up numbers I've never even used the other ones let's put the oops on the, oh, I missed it let me go back around to the left again there it is so I could come up here and try to place it my left tab on the menu ah, get in there if I didn't like it I can try to click on it it's really tiny and drag it over to somewhere else and if I really didn't like it, I can just drag it off now I want to set this a couple ways to get in here I could go to page layout paragraph menus and go into tabs I used to be able to double click it but that doesn't look like it works oh that worked it was it by double clicking it it was and if I double click a tab it came up too let's drag that off but let's do this way here page layout paragraph menu that's this area here and then this hit this little pop out now tabs are a little buried it's not on here it's a whole nother button to get to them finally okay so what I want to do then is I want to type in where I want them so I'm going to type in well first let's just clear what's on there just to be sure everything's cleared okay 3.75 and I want that one to be centered so 3.75 centered set now notice these here if you wanted to like maybe you're doing a table of contents and you have some words and you want dot 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 and a, and a number that's how this is done so the tab becomes dots all the way across sort of cool okay and now I'm gonna do 7.5 and I want this one to be right set 3.75 centered 7.5 right hit OK boom see what it did okay we'll come back to this little guy here so here's talking about how I can move these around now if I wanted to I could drag this over there's that little center tab the right one's hard to see but it's right underneath that I can move it over now I want to change that little filigree guy so let's click on him and what we're going to do is we're going to do the layout options and change him to behind text now again it's sort of hard to move them sometimes so you might choose in front of text first put him in the place you want him to be and then put him behind text I don't want him on top of my words so. though now I know he's centered right about there and then I'm going to put it behind Really didn't actually make a difference at that point because he's out of the way of the words anyways the other way of doing it is maybe I want to put him exactly somewhere so what I could do is go into here again 
and we're going to do a fixed position on page. And the nice thing about a fixed one is if I come through here and start changing things again, that does not move. Because right now he's anchored to like maybe this paragraph here or Saturday or something. And if that moves, he moves. So I don't want him to. I want him to stay there. So let's go and see if we can set more. And I want him to be at 10.3. below the page. We'll move it up a little bit. Actually, it looks better too. All right, let's put in some more pictures. Now I need to get out of the footer. Easiest way, double click in the document. Otherwise, if you wanna get back in there, double click in the footer. But you can also go here to close header and footer from the header and footer menu. All right. So that'll be enough for this one, and we'll come back and we'll tackle the other pictures. See you in that one.